So th this is my favorite part of what Google has to offer. And this has to do with, this has to do with Google Maps. Um, so it's less advertising and more friendly. So do you ever go on Google Maps? Maybe this, maybe this is fitting for you. It's, it's relatively late in the day. This happens to me all the time, except it's really late at night. It's relatively late in the day. You're looking for dinner. Everything's closing soon. But it shows you like a list of mm -hmm. 20 different places. They all said closing soon. Have you ever clicked on one of those and realized the my drive time is 25 minutes, but it closes in 20 minutes? Yep. So they are going to get rid of that using AI. AI, air quotes. Yeah. I love that. That's phenomenal. That's but like, like oh, okay. It doesn't matter if you're advertising because if you're out of my limits, you're out of my limits. I yeah. have legitimately shown up to a place as the doors were being locked yes yeah and they're like oh sorry now mate like <laughs> they're tapping on their watch sorry like Go twice home. that's happened to me because now i mean you know the first time you're just like oh i can't believe i just did that like i'm an idiot yeah second time you're like oh it took me 20 minutes to get here and they closed 21 minutes or one minute ago mm -hmm. like mathematically that doesn't work yeah so i like it's happened a hundred percent. And it, like I said, it's, I think it's happened like twice to me and I'm like, Oh, I'm, you know, I'm a freaking idiot. Now I pay attention. They also have that updated feature. Now they have for a little while that if you start driving, if you say, you know, directions and go, it will say upon arrival, you know, it'll say like club, um, restaurant or what, you know, your destination, your destination is closing at six ETA is six Oh two. So mm. like, it says that to you right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe yeah. you're. How long does that happen? Maybe you're getting that, things early. Yeah, not very, not very long. Let me. I, I mean, it's time of day right now. Nothing's closing, but yeah. Um, but like, actually, I bet you. You're like an early adopter. Here. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious. Like, I've seen it. I, I'm trying to figure out like the vernacular. Um, see if like you know. I'll keep talking for the oh. people until you find it. Oh, cool. And my then school, my son's school is closing shortly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, and I knew something. You're not going to make it. <laughs> so, um, the other thing that they'll do is when you're searching in Google maps, if you've used it enough and it's figured out that you do have a peanut allergy, we'll just keep referring to that. Yep. Uh, actually, here's a better example. Let's get off of you. My mother-in-law is uh, gluten intolerant. So it's literally, we have to go to a place that has gluten-free options. Yep. So in this case, uh, if she mapped it, knowing her and mm -hmm. her data, then whatever restaurant she mapped would only pull up things that have gluten-free alternatives there. Interesting. So See. that's very helpful use case. So if we're driving, if my wife and I are driving with her and we're going to look for you, we'll tell her like, no, no, you map it <laughs> so we can see what pops up for you. If they do things like that, I think it's going to be really helpful for, you know, everybody. McDonald's is probably going to hate it because if I say, hey, I want to die at Google, don't it, refer me to places it don't, like Yeah, this. I mean, then the temptation's gone. Okay, so what it says is, is your destination is closing soon. Right. So... But it doesn't tell you if you're going to make it. It did not. You're right. But it does give you that little warning like, hey, where you're going, like it's smart enough to tell, to essentially tell you like, are you sure? It's essentially – It's, it's essentially, telling you to check. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But no one's, no one's doing that. Oh, no. I've definitely ignored it once or twice. Yeah. I'm like, so, I'll make it. But th this – I mean, I've had that for I don't know, a year now, I feel like. Um, and obviously the one or two times that I've gotten burned, I've now been like, wait a minute. You're telling me this – and, you know, just you start realizing like, oh, it's 440 and it's four. I'm going to get there at 501. I bet you it closes at five. Like you just start figuring it out a little bit. Yeah. Some common sense kicks in. But, yeah, it's uh, it'll be nice to like not even offer those locations like, hey, you're just not going to make it. Yes. Yeah. So because even just like we'll get off of it, but just not scrolling through like, OK, I see it's all closed or closing soon. What's open? Yeah. Like what can I definitely get to you? Yep. I get frustrated. All right, so off of the Google train onto OpenAI GPT 4.0. Um, this is what I'm super excited about. I do think there's tons of use cases. I think I think it's true. We're gonna lose 70% of everybody in all industries. So 
Um, GPT-4.0, stand, the O stands for Omni. It's a multimodal uh, capable of handling speech, text, video inputs, um, and it has enhanced conversational abilities and contextual understanding. So I saw, did you see the, these videos no. for OpenAI? They're very short. I'll send them to you so you can watch a few of them anyway. But GPT-4.0, it's not available for everybody as of right now, are releasing a a section on GPT on the app that can look at, can open your camera on your phone. So now it can see things, it can use your back facing camera, your front facing camera. It can see things if there's a broken faucet, this is the example everybody gives. If there's a broken faucet in your house, you can point the camera to it, show it what's going on. You can talk to it at the same time as it's seeing what's happening and say, Hey, my faucet's broken here. Can you help me fix it? It'll look at it. It's like, Hmm, yeah, it does look broken. Let me tell you what to do. Here's some steps. Let's look at the underneath the cabinet. And then you can bring the phone in with the camera. Mm -hmm. It'll see what's going on. Oh, it looks like it's leaking from here. Check this. If this is broken, you could take it apart, show it the piece. That's this is what that piece is called. You can get that, you know, at your local hardware store. And it's using your camera in real time. Um, it can look at you and like tell you how you're feeling based off of what <laughs> facial expressions you have. It can, if you looked at you and it's like, oh, he's wearing a Rays hat. He, you, you look like you're a Devil Rays fan. There's actually games going on, you know, next week or something along those yep. lines. And that's, you know, I think it's cool. I don't know what my use case is for that. I'm more interested in what it can do when it looks at your computer screen. So before we go on a computer screen, how do you think like their example was, here's how you could use it with your children.